Hey guys, and welcome back to Factorio. I am Cifa Cat, and today we're gonna build a spider. Do we need a spider? Nah, but I want a spider. And honestly, if you ask me, that's all I really need to have. Just the desire for a spider. So we're gonna build one of the Logitron uh, bots because they seem cool. And we're, we're basically gonna hand feed a lot of the stuff, so we can build most of this. So let's start with the mech frame because that's probably going to be the most pain because we need a bunch of stuff for that. So everything else after that is pretty easy. So mech frame. We're going to need the mech brain. We're going to need a lot of stuff. But we can just steal those from like my black... Uh, a black circuit production and from there we should be able to get some stuff together. So what do we need? Well, we need module cases. Well, those are actually from modules. The word module cases. That's all right, they're easy. They should be around here somewhere. There are only two of those. We'll grab more than that because it's really difficult to just grab two of something. Uh, we need CPUs, easy enough. That's probably enough CPUs. We have a problem with solder, because I know we do not have the solder for this. But that's okay, we'll get the solder sorted out another time. Oh, there's some solder right there, actually. Yoink. How much solder do we need? 120. Okay, we do not have 120 solder <laughs> sorted out. Uh, we need some of these boards, so we'll just take those. We need some transistors and basic electric components. Easy. <laughs> Excuse me. I imagine the solder is the problem still, though. Uh, so, can I build a mech brain by hand? Probably not going to let me. Uh, we're lacking CPUs and a lot of solder. Well, I can't say I'm surprised about the solder. CPUs, I forgot about those. Needs like 120 of those, that's easy enough. Uh, that's 120 CPUs. Okay, solder. Right, so the plan is, once we build the Logibot, he can go off and build just some general stuff. So we don't need to stand there and wait for it to build uh, the <laughs> land. The Logibot can go over and deal with that. Okay, so mech brain. Done. Mech frame. We need 50 low density structures. Those are pretty easy to get too. I think the next problem we might have with this is actually getting the legs. And oh god, the legs need so many bits and pieces. Well, we need rubber. So let, let's go grab the rubber now. Uh, where do we get rubber from? I know we make it. I think. Rubber is actually made from these trees or something like that. Or it's... The resin is being turned into rubber. That's how it works. I don't know how much rubber we need. We'll grab more than we need and that should be fine. Okay. We're going to need a lot of low-density structures. That's kind of a pain, but okay. No, I actually want those. It's always important when running through dangerous spots to just have your map open, so that way if anything hits you, like a train, you won't see it. It's, uh, it's painless death. Okay, so mech frame. Sorted. That's the first part. Mech legs. We need feet. We need hips. Ooh, they're lying. No, they don't lie. We need insulated wire, which means we're going to need some tin as well. We could just get insulated wire just straight up, but... Nah. Uh, okay. This is the thing about building stuff by hand. It's just kind of finicky, but you get there eventually. That's what matters. Okay, so... Mech legs. We've got the stuff for the feet. We are getting the stuff for the hip, which is going to need some gear wheels and some bearings. Here come the bots to deliver a bunch of stuff I don't actually want right now. I, I do want them. Oh, I've disappointed the bots. They're sad now. What a brute. Okay, so that makes... How many mech legs do I need? That's probably the real question. Eight. Well, because it's a spider bot. Spiders probably have eight legs. So, can't make any legs because so they don't have any leg segments. We 
which need titanium pipe and it's an old I always feel like I'm saying that wrong but hey I'm gonna keep saying it wrong now stop me titanium pipe that's easy enough provided I actually made titanium pipe which turns out I don't and this and all also fairly easy to make okay can we just build legs now how many legs can we build three legs not enough legs we need more electric engines hey Kiwi Hawk how you doing So we're gonna need more legs. Uh, I've lost count of how many legs we're making. I think it's only two legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough legs. Uh, titanium chest. That's an easy one. Oh, spiders! I, I couldn't see the uh, what that you were emoting there, and now I see spiders. Wonderful. That's exactly what, that's exactly what I wanted to see in my life, and now there are spiders. Um, now that's titanium plate. I need carbide plate. I, am I making carbide plate? I am for heat shielding. Well, that's convenient. Uh, gun turrets. That's actually pretty easy. We just need to grab some copper, which we got a lot of copper. Okay. Gun turrets. Just two of those, I believe. Uh, and then we just need the carbide plate and we've got a Logitron. No, we don't because we never actually researched the Logitron. Well, that's... That's awkward. Okay, I guess we're not making a Logitron today. We're making a Tankatron. Hopefully it's not too different. Much better. Uh, 80 storage size versus... 80 store side. You know what, Anton? Anton it is. Change the plan. Change the plan. All good. Not a spider. Making an ant. Much easier. Less work. I may actually have everything I need for it then. Uh, they don't need the gun turrets, oddly enough. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was way easier. That was a train. Kind of scary, but there it is. Uh, also, I want to limit how many Radar 5s we're building. Because I think we've got it pushed a little high. I don't... I mean, as much as I do kind of want 200, I don't need 200 right now. Okay, Anton. And then we go, of course, going to need to equip the Ant, but... Alright. And the Ant needs fuel. Didn't know that. I've never built one of these before. Okay, well, fueling up an ant is actually pretty easy, so let's just ditch the stuff that we've picked up along my way that I don't really need right now. Extra legs. Well, it's my favorite part of, uh... Metaton? His legs? I think it's Metaton. It's been a while since I thought about Undertale. No, it's not. I think about Undertale all the time. Uh, okay. I need a coal source, which is actually really easy, because it's just there. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have dropped the ant and just left it there. Hello, ant. Okay, got some fuel, got some grid, it's got some logistics, awesome. Well, that's fun. I've never driven these before, it's kind of neat. <laughs> Cute. Alright, so, we can't just jump around with an ant all day, we got work to do. So it needs sand. Not that sand, that one. And it's gonna need like... No more train death? No, no, the... the... There's still gonna be train death, don't you worry about that, I'm not riding this ant everywhere. Okay, so it can hold as much sand as it can hold. Okay, what else does it need? Well, I was going to go make it make an electrolyzer farm. I guess it's going to need electrolyzers. Let's just grab like a hundred of those. Uh, it's also going to need pumps. Really, it's just going to need a lot of the stuff I carry around. Let's build 40 pumps. That's probably good. Uh, and only has six legs. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does only have six legs. Cute. 
That's so fun. Um, I don't know if it's going to have enough to hold everything I'm trying to put into it. But we'll try. Uh, what else do we need after that? We need... Well, let's actually look. We need... Oh, belts, of course. Jeez. Absolutely need belts. Uh, how many of those do we need? Probably like 2,000, honestly. Uh, and we need inserters. Fast filter inserters and regular inserters. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Yeah, well, that makes things a bit easier. Uh, and we need fast filter inserters, and we need like a hundred of those too. Uh, what else do we need there? Pipes. Gonna need pipes. Gotta have pipes. There is no way this thing is gonna be big enough to carry everything I need. But it can try. I think we're just gonna worry about, uh, just the <coughs> electrolyzer part. Electro lad. Okay, he's called Electro lad now. Uh, he's full of electrolytes. Uh, we're going to also need to get him some construction bots. So, you know what? Might as well logistics them in as well. Construction bots. Can we get like... Let's get a hundred of those on. Uh, okay, we need hydro plant. Well... How many of those? I don't know, 20. Clarifiers, 10 will probably suffice for those. How is the trunk looking? It's looking pretty full. It doesn't have near enough sand in it, which is a... going to be a problem. I think after that... Oh, and chemical plants. Yeah, this thing is not big enough. We should have spent a little bit longer. That's okay. But you know, it's, it's doing alright. Okay, so let's build it some stuff. Let's build a RoboPort. Uh, a mobile RoboPort, please. Can we build better ones than this? I want these upgraded and I want those upgraded, so... What do I need to upgrade those? Uh, Robo stuff, I suppose. Brass, Inver. You know what, this might actually be a case for let's just make the automation do it. Uh, you know what, making more of them is probably not a bad idea. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have some of these number one things built already, so we just gotta go up to level two. That's easy. Uh, so you just gotta do that, and that should build an infinite number of those. We've got the hatches, the charging pads, and we've got the... What else do we need? Uh, charging pad, antenna arrays, okay. Antenna arrays. Another easy one. It's going to store way more of these than I'm really wanting it to, but I don't actually care enough. It'll sort itself out eventually. Uh, and then I want it to build RoboPort 1s. I think it should be able to do that more or less. And then it should be a boiled rubber port 2s. Probably able to do that as well. Okay. So... Yeah, we're really just starting today's episode with just trying to get some basic stuff together. Which is fine. You gotta do that sometimes. Uh, antenna arrays those that was robot now honestly these we probably don't need to carry a lot of them around but we do want them sometimes 
So maybe like five of those. And then similar idea, but also five. Probably already too many, but I honestly don't care enough to worry too much about it. Alright, so that should have more or less everything it needs. Aside from steel, which apparently having a steel shortage again. Uh, okay. So that gives me some of the things I need, but not all of the things I need. I really only want one ant, so we may need to... Maybe we won't worry about the chemical plant. I'll just take those chemical plants from it. Okay, so that'll give some robots. When it gets around to the steel. What happened to the steel? It's coming. It's just trying to make a lot of everything else right now. Okay, so it's coming though. That's the point. Uh, we need a fusion generator for it. Because I ain't making my little guy run around without a fusion generator. Which is going to require 200 processing chips. That's a lot of processing chips. I didn't really count on. Uh, but right now we have 50. Great. Kind of wanted more than 50. That number is going to be boosted now to... Uh, that number can't really be boosted the way I've done it from here. That's okay. We can worry about that in a moment. We need batteries. That's also going to be a pain. And we need more processing units. I think we're just going to go and steal some processing units. Maybe tricky because I don't think we've just got a lot of them just lying around. I'd be surprised if we did. Well, there's three of them. It's nice. And processing units are coming through, so, you know, out of that, I suppose. I forget how much work it is to equip a new, like, oh, you know what? I want 50 processing units. You know what? We can take the red circuits as well. They're useful. Alright, so we've got... We can build some batteries now. That's easy enough. Uh, good. We were building a fusion generator, and I'm pretty sure what I just grabbed was not enough. It was not enough. Well, it's, like, it's nice to know I'm right every now and then. Uh, okay, we got 200. That's enough for a process, uh, a fusion generator. What else do we need? We're going to need batteries. We can go collect those. Probably something that expands the area, which is actually easy enough. Grab some of those for the fusion generator. It's just going to have one, uh, so it's going to be probably pretty slow, but it's fine. Do we want to worry about exoskeletons? Uh, probably. No, let's not worry about exoskeletons. And we need some batteries. And batteries we steal from... Yeah. Okay. Lots of batteries. Because I figure when it's not doing anything, it's going to not be doing anything. I know that was really obvious, but it's also true. Okay, so build a fusion generator. There, it <laughs> he's a bit big. It's a bit big. Um, yeah, maybe it'll be all right. Maybe it just doesn't need a hundred uh, of the. What you call it? So maybe it doesn't need a hundred construction bots. That might be too many. Uh, anyway, so we should be able to put some batteries in here very soon. Oh no, it's still building them. Never mind. I think at some point we will be uh, making an ant colony, but not today. Okay, so that's powering it up. Nice, that gives it a 15 bot u limit. Okay, yeah, we don't need 100 bots. 50 will do. So we're going to take 50 of the bots out. That way it can put 50 of something else in there. 
And we're going to put 50 bots into the trash so they can deal with that. Okay. So into the grid we go, putting more of these in. More batteries, which we have one, two, three, four, five, six slots. So, yes, one more battery. Oh, they're charging. We're going to need to build another robot, though. I think that's what we're all learning today. You know what? Let's have the robot go away. We probably do need a bigger robot with a larger... Um, a larger logistics, but for now this will do. It makes cute sounds as it walks though, so that's nice. I don't know if you can hear them, but I like them. I've never had one of these before. And it is burning through coal, but that's probably not too big a deal. I certainly hope not. But look at it, it just doesn't give a shit. Just, oh, did you just... Did I just take that or did you just take that? You better not have taken that, you've got no inventory space as is. Cute though. I've never been so happy to have a robot. That's not true, I love robots. Look at him. Just having a good time. Yep. So is uh, Queen. Queen is also having a good time. Okay, so. Right now he's just filled with glorious purpose. And we're just going to... Copy that. Now we don't want the... Modules or the entities, we just want the tiles. And we're just going to do this for now. So now if he goes over here... Uh... He should start building. Now I hope he's the one building and not me. He is the one building. Fantastic. I didn't get extenders for him. Those are a lot more work than I thought that'd be. Oh wait, that's not what I want. I want uh, to turn off my personal robot port just for a little bit. So did all his robots just leave him? Why are his robots not working? Oh, because he doesn't have the uh, logistic space yet. Okay, well that's why we're going to be giving it to him in a moment. Does that take a battery, what he's doing? I hope not. Hopefully these aren't too big. I didn't actually check the size of them. Uh, they are one by one. Okay, great. Is there a way to be able to check this construction area? Reasonable. Well. How will I know what his construction area is? Oh, wait. That's... That's his construction area, huh? Why is he not working right now? Those things don't have batteries. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave him here. I uh, trust that he'll get something done eventually. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of work to do. I'll uh, come back and check on him later. Oh, he, he's getting stuff done. But I think what we're learning is... Does he have landfill? He does. I think he's just trying to charge himself with one fusion generator, and that's kind of his problem. He'll figure it out. I think because the expanders aren't online right now, I think we'll come back later, and I think he'll do a good job. But thank you for the advice, uh, Metalife. I think we just leave him alone. 
I think he's just got a lot of thinking to do right now. Um, but he'll get there. I believe in him. He's very smart. You know, Electro Dude, as I called him for some reason. And a moment of weirdness. Uh, how's the defrag going? Good morning, or good evening. Uh, the defrag is going well. Currently working through Cobalt. Okay, so we're going to go find some landfill elsewhere, because I'm pretty sure we do have landfill other places that probably are going to start building up if I don't deal with it. Okay. Uh, now that I've got that sorted, which is pretty good, I needed to get more resources together. Um, oh, I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something stupid. I wanted to start making uh, deuterium. I thought, you know what, that's one thing I need is a new sort of energy. So let's start researching that. How's he going? He's, um... He's doing his best. I think we might want to give him more power source. Because I think one fusion generator is not going to be enough for him. <laughs> he's trying. He's really trying. But he's a bit small. Oh, well, we all have those days, don't we? I think trying to power as many robots as I've got him powering is probably too much for him. Yeah. Maybe we give him some solar panels? Would he appreciate that? He probably would. Uh, give him some portable solar panels just to give him an extra bit of power. I mean, how much work would it be to get another fusion, a better fusion? Uh, generator. Uh, oh shit, yeah, a lot more work than I'm willing to do. Because efficiency, uh, the module ones are going to be a pain, because I haven't researched them yet. Or rather, I have researched them, because I'm currently working on twos. But I'm just not ready to build ones. Because uh, what more do ones need, actually? Ones would require... Actually, theoretically, I could build ones. They don't need... Oh, speed module. No, I would need new choppy crystal. Okay, so at that point, I need biters. Okay, so we're not doing that. Not right now. So, back to my original plan of deuterium. Or heavy water. Uh, it's something we don't need right now, but I want to prepare for it. I want to be prepared for needing it. So, let's just start looking for it. So, deuterium gas, good. Make that, we need heavy water. To make heavy water, we need semi-heavy water. To make semi-heavy water, we also need semi-heavy water. We need semi-heavy semi water. Semi-heavy water, then it's actually pretty basic. But you do need an advanced chemical facility. I don't think I carry around with me. How do we make enriched uh, hydrogen sulfide gas? Steam crackers. Well, I definitely don't carry steam crackers around with me. I wonder if the logistics network has steam crackers in it. That's Anton. That. I don't even know what that is. Okay, steam crackers. We do have steam crackers. Neat. Uh, advanced chemical facilities. We have those too. Well, let's go get them. Alright, so currently I assume we're wanting zero of those. Let's just walk while we have got our nose in the inventory screen, because that is never dangerous. And what's the worst that could happen? A train hits me? That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Uh, I'm not seeing them. Okay, there they are. Okay. How's Anton going? He's look, he's getting stuff done. I respect Anton. You know, it's, it's always important that when you build a robot, you respect it. Because if you don't respect it, that's how they will kill you. 
that is actually a true fact. You gotta respect the robot. It will get mad and it will end you. Otherwise. Um, I've seen enough movies. Do I plan on upgrading the new version of C-Block once it gets released? Um, maybe. I don't know. It depends. I'll read through the logs. Uh, if it is not going to absolutely kill what I'm doing, then yes. If it's going to change too much, probably not this time. I'll run on the next speed lock, uh, C-Block run. At 100 hours in, I'm kind of afraid that it'll break things. I don't think that is a uh, unreasonable fear. But, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Should have grabbed some green circuits as well. I like how the cannon just fires once and it just leaves. That, that's, you know, that that's just the ultimate power play. Uh, yeah, I don't have any electric boilers, do I? Nope, nor do I have a way of building them. You know what? I don't need to worry about that. I can just grab this train, and this train can bring them to me. Okay, so we've got to enrich my hydrogen gas. So, enrich. Oop, not quite what I wanted. Uh, look, it, it might not be too big a deal. I would have to look at it, though. I don't think that makes sense. Oh, okay, we need the steam cracker first. Okay. The order matters, I suppose. I'd like to make sure I'm running the most recent stuff, but we'll see. It's just a scary world out there. Okay. So we'll do three of these for now. Uh, don't know why my construction block... Oh, because I turned them off. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so we do need more of these. So what we need to do is actually take the hydrogen sulfide gas and we're going to use that to make my heavy water. And I don't know how much heavier heavy water is. I believe this is a joke that I'm making. But heavy water may actually be heavier than regular water. I don't know. I do know that it's important, though. I do know that it was a big deal in World War II. Because they didn't want the Germans to have it. That's all I really know. Um, but to be fair, during World War II, they didn't really want the Germans to have a lot. They were very not cool with the Germans having anything that could be beneficial in a war. And that, I mean, that's... I don't blame them. I mean, it's a war, you know? If your enemy had a loaf of bread, you'd be like, I hate them having loaves of bread. <laughs> probably a very simplistic way of looking at things, but it's probably also true. Uh, okay, so we need electric boilers. Let me just chuck them over here. And we're going to need pumps because the whole point is all the water that we're dredging from here is going to be turning into that delicious, delicious heavy water, which you absolutely should not drink. Probably. Again, as I said, I don't really understand the science behind this. I'm just doing it. Okay, so that should be making nothing yet. As that makes sense. It'll make stuff in a moment. It'll get around to it. Okay, so now it's making enriched hydrogen sulfide gas. Awesome. This is something I don't really need right now, but it's just one of those things that the sooner... It's like when I was doing uranium in the first place. I didn't need it right then and there, but it is so much better to have a large supply of it when I do need it. So that's what I'm doing. Just preparing for that future. 
Okay, then. With purified water, saline water, and more enriched... More enriched, really? Wow, okay. And more enriched... Uh, hydrogen sulfide. Oh, no, it's not more. It's, it's literally the same stuff. So, advanced chemical facility. I can't bother trying to find it, so I'm just going to copy it from there. Going to leave me a bit of room. I'm not working at any ratios here because I cannot really be bothered. Okay, so three, two, one. I'm curious how uh, Anton's going over there. Uh, he is. He's doing well, all things considered. He's, his battery is still not nearly enough, but. Look, sometimes you do have to think ahead. I don't usually do that. Uh, so this is damaging my brand right now. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, thinking ahead on this one. Uh, we're going to need saline water, but we can grab that from... I think we get saline water up here, don't we? Do we just... Uh, we just immediately wipe it out. So the saline water could actually be useful. Nice. Uh, so saline water... Please come down here, saline water. I need you for watery duties. All right. So sailing water comes down here. If I had a pump, that'd be good, but I'm pretty sure I don't carry pumps around for some reason. I don't. That's all right. We'll worry about that in a moment. Right now is not the time to need to worry about that. The important thing is it's making something. Probably. Eventually. Okay, so. That's going to make... Uh, hydrogen sulfide gas, which is funny because that's... Actually one of those things that we needed to make in the first place. So this might actually be a top-up valve. Like, yeah. And then we turn that into this. Okay. Now, this is the one we're actually going to need more of. Because that's our cool stuff. And that wastewater is just going to get ditched because I don't want it. I mean, sure, I could use it for hydrogen chloride, uh, hydrochloric acid, but I don't care enough about it. Just ditch it. Okay, so saline water is the thing that's slowing us down here, but that's all right. Uh, let's ditch the cleric wastewater because I cannot be bothered dealing with this shit today. Okay, so now we have semi semi heavy water, seventy five percent. Great. How do we heavyify that water? We literally do it again. Okay. Well, I can see a trend here. We're going to do this again, I see. We... Let's just do that. So, with that heavy, semi-heavy water... Uh... Semi? Water enrichment, is that what you call it? Water enrichment 2. From 7.5 to 12.5. Awesome. So, good news, that connects directly to that. This is going to be a problem. I have a funny feeling I know what's going to be the next part as well. It's going to be like, hey, you enriched the water? Do it again! And I'll be like, oh man. I just predict that's where we're going to be next. I'm not even going to look at it, because I, I know that's what's going to happen. And we're going to need more saline water, which is a right pain. That's alright, we can steal saline water from somewhere else. What matters here is that these are... Uh, sort of going? That's the wrong stuff. 
75 heavy water. Is it too hot? It's too hot. Okay, we, do we have to cool the water? Do we have to cool the water? I think we have to cool the water. We have to cool the water. Okay. Okay, cooling the water. We need stuff. Okay, that's alright. I didn't think we needed cooling towels. I didn't think about that. That's alright. It's it's not like one of the biggest radioactive things in the game for no reason. You gotta go back and get a, probably a bunch of cooling towers, honestly. Red circuits still could be produced faster, but they're doing okay. The cooling towers are going to require steel pipes. Pretty easy, I would hope. Aside from the fact that Apparently I don't build steel pipes. Bit unexpected there. Clay brocks. Clay brocks. I, I mean to say bricks clearly, but you know what? Clay brocks. Not as many clay bricks as I expected, so I'm going to steal them. Because remember, theft is legal and cool. Okay, there we go. I'm going to need more clay bricks than that. That's a lot of clay bricks. I'll take them. Uh, and steel plate, which I think steel plate is literally a problem we're having right now. Oh wait, no, we have steel pipes. They're right there. Did I say I didn't have steel pipes? I did. Okay, well let's uh, get rid of some of the stuff we just simply do not need right now. Take some of these steel pipes, because I want them. Which is a good enough reason to have anything in life, because you'll want it. That's not going to be enough. Uh... Where is where is all the steel coming from? Oh, not going. I would have thought we'd have more steel coming through than that. Okay. We're going to, when we do this. Oh yeah, that's going to kill my resources, because well not my resources, my storage space. Because it turns out trying to gather hundreds of transport belts uh, is a bit tricky. We almost done? We done. Right. Four more cooling towers, I think that sounds good. I think that's a good number of cooling towers. Yeah, train, train, do not take me anywhere, train. I don't want to die today, train. Okay, that's the train song. Okay, so Anton has done that. Meanwhile, he's still trying to charge his expanders. <laughs> it was a close one. Uh, but yeah, you know, every life you got to be almost hit by a few trains. That is uh, the motto I've had. Uh, I haven't almost been hit by a train before, but cars definitely. Certainly didn't try to. However, in this game, when you get hit by a train, you just sort of laugh it off. You get hit by a car or a train in real life, you don't tend to be laughing a lot. Uh, it's a very different situation, I think, in real life. But what do you know? Video games are not real. Ah! Almost got hit by the train I came in on. Um, video games are not real life. What a surprise, right? Okay. Okay, so we want to cool my... 75 water. Uh... We need... Oh, we need water for that. got to be water cooling. Dang. I didn't realize this machine was so cool. Joke not really intended, but hey, there we go. Uh, okay, new plan. Push those out just a tad. So we can actually have some more room to build these things. 
Okay, that's probably better. Because now we can... Actually, move this one up, just so everything links in nicely. Yes, we can! Wonderful. That's going to be the water. And we're just going to go connect. Don't know what that was doing there. And purified water, which we had... Purified water even coming from? Oh, it's being made. Okay, well, we may need to make more purified water later. So for now, we will just do this. Well, I guess it's going to make steam and then you can cool the steam into water. I think that logically makes sense. Probably. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. You shouldn't have a loss of water when you cool steam. That's the logic I'm going to take to the bank. Bank man's going to be like, what? why are you even talking to us about this? Like, I don't know. I don't know anything, man. Alright, so everything I was connecting to before will no longer connect properly, so that's fun. I want to do it like that. Let's just keep the same system repeatedly. Otherwise, things don't work. It's a very common trick. Okay, so. Cool the gas, or the water. And that works. Saline water, still a problem. Uh, enriched sulfur won't be a problem if I do that and that uh, saline water is a problem we're going to need to make a lot more of that but we can deal with that later then I imagine if I had to be honest we're probably doing the exact same thing again but this time rather than cooling uh, 7.5, we're calling 12.5. <coughs> okay. That's probably right. We'd need more purified water. Of course, if we just did... But let's try, it's time for secret tactics. We did this. Why are my bots not working? I have them. They're, They're on. Ah, uh, I've run out of cooling towels, haven't I? Shoot. That's not great. Okay, so that was a problem we didn't really consider that we could run out of uh, cooling towels because I didn't really see me needing this many, but I guess I didn't really think. Okay, but it's making water, getting the semi-heavy water, it's getting there. Saline water is still ridiculous. Can we, okay, we're going to change this a little bit to be an overflow valve. I'd prefer it if we weren't losing water to this. Unless we re unless we really don't care about it. If we don't care about it, then just lose it, but how much pure uh, it doesn't make much saline water anyway, so we're gonna need salination plants very soon. That's okay. Okay, so what I might do. I'm going to turn my rubber ports off for a moment. Just so that way I can really just get this done. I just want to get it done. I don't think that's a crime. And if it was, it'd be cool and awesome. Because that's what crimes are, remember? It's just what they are. Uh, we also need to get rid of this 
chlorine, uh, waste water, which rather than having two things, let's just use the one. That's just economics. Okay. And then we'll give it a little bit more space. And we'll enable my robot ports and we'll build the things I don't really want to build. Can't win them all. <laughs> and uh, it looks like I didn't quite copy enough there, but that's all right. Okay, so then that's going to cool down the 12.5. So then we turn the 12.5 into 15%. I think 15% is all it needs. Certainly hope so. Uh, and we need this stuff, which should be more or less coming if it felt like it, which it doesn't because we need more enriched. Problem with that is we don't... Purified water is a problem. Okay. So we may need to get rid of purified water while also holding on to it. Boy, that's fun. Uh, is that going to put out chloride water? It does. That makes sense. Everything else does. Why wouldn't this? Okay, that's gas. That's that. Where is this going back into? That's not actually going anywhere, is it? We put that way too far in. Didn't realize we'd be needing more of it. That's all right. Hopefully your meeting went well enough. I mean, it's a meeting. They are always interesting at best, I assume. Uh, that's going to be a top-up valve. Okay, so that way it'll only top up if it's not much. That's good. Okay, so that's going to make 15% water. What am I building? I'm working on titanium... I'm working on nuclear power. Another nuclear power. I can't pronounce it, but it's good. I like it. Um, it's really just the same pattern over and over again. Alright, so that's going to cool that. We probably... You know what? Let's actually... The purified water... Let's get rid of it as an overflow valve. Only as an overflow valve, because we may actually... And I'm not caring that we're going to go over this one. I thought we were going to, but... Well, I thought I was going to care, but it turns out at the end of all this, I don't. So that's nice. It's nice to know I don't care. We do need to get rid of the steam. Uh, but we can worry about that another time. Okay, so that is thinking about making the stuff we need. As long as it's thinking about it, that's what matters. Saline water does look like it's coming through better now that we're not uh, ditching most of it. Okay, now with 15%... Is it 15%? There's a 15% enrichment. Do we need to cool it again? I have a funny feeling the answer is always going to be yes. But let's find out. Uh, okay, so we do need to cool it again, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. Then we need to heat it. What? We need to boil it? I think we need to cool it and then we need to boil it. Oh! We cool it, we get the steam out of it, and then we boil it to get more steam out of it? 
Right, so we get more water out of the water. I think that makes sense. Does that make sense? Why are we cooling it so we can boil it? That doesn't make any sense. No. You know what, let's try this. And let's see if it's happy about it. I've confused myself thoroughly now. Okay. So, we're just going to chuck this in there and see if it wants to go in there. If it doesn't, then I assume I've done it wrong and I'll need to cool it as well. Well, it does say less than 30 degrees. So, you know what? There's my answer. we got to cool it so we can heat it. I'm not quite sure why we're doing this, but okay, that's what we got to do. Got to cool, cool it so you can heat it. Uh, okay, we've reached the point where we clearly need more. <laughs> I mean, it's a good trick. If you can do that, it's a good trick. Okay, let's get the uh, the bean train. We need so much more clay, I think, is the answer here. So let's go to the Grey Goo facility and uh, see what we can find. Thankfully, it's just a really long trek here, so I can just lean back. Ah, stretch. It's always good to have a stretch. Big stretch, big cat, like I always say. I mean, you can also have big stretch, small cat. <laughs> Hey, train. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Um, scared me a lot last time I played. Like, I was actually startled by it. Uh, okay, so we need more... Basically just clay. Okay, so we're just going to steal clay from wherever we find... I'm worried that we don't have clay. I thought we'd have a lot of clay by now. Um, so it probably means we've got a problem somewhere if we're actually running out of clay. Steel is probably doing better now. It does, steel does look like it's doing much better now, so that's nice. Let me figure out what's going wrong with clay. Yeah, you know what? Let's just have a quick look. No harm in looking. Uh, just not making enough mud bricks. Okay. Well, anyway, we've got now a lot of uh, cooling towers, so let's take the Venga bus and... Uh, no, let's not take the Venga bus just yet. Let's just think just for a moment. I hate thinking, I know. Thinking is the worst. It's heavy water, how do we turn it to deuterium? Electrolyzers. Okay. Oh, then it's, then it's done. Okay. It's, it's really weird how this is actually an easier science project than making uranium is. I don't know why. I would expect this one. Like, this is the what the easiest power in the game to make, honestly. So long as you have the tech for it. If you don't have the tech for it, it's actually not as easy, I suppose. <coughs> and I guess you need to have made uranium already because you need the... <coughs> What's it called? The isotopes. So never mind, it's not as easy as I thought. Phew. I almost said something was easy. Uh, can you just... Hang on, can you just wait there for a second? It seems like you want to shoot something. I don't want to... You know, not have you shoot something. I mean, it's literally Vinka uh, bus's job to shoot things. So Vinka bus is shooting things. Always good. Okay, we probably need to deal with the steam at some point. How many more of these uh, cooling towers do I have? Six. Okay. I could just do it again. Well, actually, if you do it this way, 
kind of becomes a closed loop. Do I want a closed loop system? They do sound good, don't they? Let's do a closed loop system of sorts. Uh, and then it shouldn't need any more purified water. In fact, I don't think it's getting any purified water in. Purified water was coming from here. So if we... Just top up. Like, yeah, if we just do a top up valve here. Then... That will make sure that the closed loop system just works. And if it ever runs out for some bizarre reason, it won't absolutely kill us. Okay, so we now have cooled semi-heavy water of 15%. Nice. But then we need to get my semi-heavy water and we need to boil the shit out of it which is of course a technical term and by boil the shit out of it I of course mean boil the water out of it I think I think it's about boiling out of it I don't know as I said I'm not a scientist Gabe Johnson here I'm here to boil the shit out of this water why? because I got no better thing to do Nothing better to do today. That was my best uh, Cave Johnson impression. If you say it was bad, I respect that. It was pretty bad. Alright, so that turns my stuff into heavy water. We do a couple of these actually. We can do an array of those. I think that works. Yes, it does. Uh, steam apparently doesn't get vented that way. Does it get clarified? Does it, how do we get rid of steam? Uh, okay. Why are things not happening? They are, it's just slow. Saline water appears to be the big problem. But we can get that sorted in just a moment. Not sure we can get rid of steam, really? Well, okay. Can, you just gotta, I guess, Purify it and then clarify it. Kind of a pain. A gen oh, you know what? Generator, yes. Why, why don't I just build a generator? Like, it's not like it's going to hurt anyone. I have a couple of generators going. I mean, it's just a bit of extra power, right? I don't even need. Yeah, okay. The most basic way to get rid of stuff. Just turn it into power. Make it burst into treats. Look at that. We have power. Add power. Does it, do we not need power? Oh, it burnt through all the, the steam already. Nah, it burns through the steam super quick. I'm not worried about that anymore. Will this be a problem though? Yeah, probably. Uh, it has the load of the entire factory on it, so... It's kind of funny that I need to generate steam power to be able to generate, like, really advanced nuclear power. I think that's pretty fun. I mean, how else are you going to get rid of... Okay, so yeah, it's, it's completely got nothing in it right now, so that's fine. Then we have heavy water. Not a lot of it, but some of it. And then I think we can just... Do we need to cool the heavy water? 
we need to bloody cool the heavier water as well. Of course we do. Of course we do. What? <laughs> of course we do. Everything else has to be cooled. Why wouldn't heavy water have to be cooled? I'm not actually mad. I'm just pretending. Okay. And then we get the water in. Okay, so that that's not cooling anything right now. Uh, that's in the wrong place. You're done goofed, son. You're done goofed. Okay, so let's ditch that. Uh, then we need to get the heavy water in, which just like that. Um, I think we're now in a position where we just really need a lot more saline water. Why is this not going? Yeah, saline water. Okay. Uh, we need stuff. Okay. Can we get saline water from anywhere else? I'm sure we'd have somewhere else nearby that's making a lot of saline water. Also, my aunt... I would have thought that... Okay, let's just move the ant, and then we'll go get some saline water. Yeah, I need to extend how its range works, because that's not particularly great right now. Actually, if I do this, let's think about this real quick. If I do this, just put it there, and we just leave it there. Gives it more room to work with, right? I've just realized we've got a problem. We got we got biters. We got we got spitty boys. Get it the hell out of there, guys. Just be happy there. This may be the worst plan I've ever had, but that's alright. Do I have a remote for my aunt? No, because remotes are way too late. <laughs> remotes are like See, I was looking at that actually. Here's a part where I complain to the dev. So, the you don't get the remote until Spidertron. And I don't, I don't have a Spidertron. So, I don't have a remote. I, just don't really, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It gives you the incentive to actually go that far. Maybe I'll do that next. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Complain to the dev. You know, it's everyone's favorite part of the stream. Not really. Actually, I think it's pretty rude, actually. And, and jokes aside, I think it's pretty rude. But that's all right. I, I think, again, it is the incentive to get the next step up. Like, hey, you've got this. That's fun. But you could have better. Uh, it's called the Venga bus, but yes, I should do that. You're quite right. <laughs> I will send the Venga bus to deal with that. Um, now I came over here for a glorious purpose. What was my glorious purpose? Well, I need a tank, that's for sure. Let's get a couple of those, but that's not the glorious purpose I came over here for. Unrelated, how's my rocket going? 78%. Um, okay, so I came over here because I needed something. I needed... Cellulation plants. Okay, we're good, we're good. We, we got there, guys. Uh, one rocket sent. I haven't seen a second rocket yet. We got one rocket. Uh, we'll probably get... We might get a, another rocket today. They're still slow. Uh, what I'm actually trying to do right now is expand my resources. But I'm trying to do it with the Venga... Uh, sorry, the... The Logitron 
thing, so that's probably why it's taking a lot longer. Maybe I should just give up that for now and just do it myself. You know, you can't hire good help these days. I didn't even hire it, I made it. Can't make good help these days either, I suppose. Uh, brass and aluminium, okay. Because I, I've, with all the extra stuff that I make now, it turns out it takes more resources than I have available. <laughs> so that's been a problem. One did go, yes. Uh, for those who know better, is it possible to make the uh, logic system, the circuit system, make a noise when a rocket's ready to go? Because I want to launch the next rocket by hand. I know I'll eventually automate it and make it launch them all the time, but for now I would prefer to actually watch them because they're very exciting. About rocket 150, I'll stop giving a crap. But around a rocket 150, they should only take a few minutes each to launch. In theory. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Hello. What you guys doing? Uh, I don't think the train goes far enough. Uh, that's not a bad idea, Purple Prince. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get the finger bus. We're going to go manual control just for a second. Okay. Because this is not working. We need to... Glorious Purpose dictates destroying more worms. I've had Glorious Purpose stuck in my head. I've been watching Loki, obviously. Um, and just saying I, I'm filled with Glorious Purpose has been stuck in my head all day. For some reason. <laughs> uh, but I mean, you know, it's fine. I'm filled with Glorious Purpose, so there's no problem with it. That and a lot of sugar. Glorious purpose and sugar. Uh, this is not going to be a final track. This is just... Oh, this is going to launch a lot of... Yep. I saw it coming and I'm still disappointed. Okay. Finger bus. I want you to just go over there, and I want you to think about what you've done for the last, like, for the next thousand seconds. Okay, off you go. The bots will catch up. I'm not worried about them. Okay, saline water time. Where am I going to put this? Maybe over here? Maybe over here. Because I'm not really planning to use this for anything else anymore. Because that was for my Chrome, and Chrome is very much done now that I do not need to care about it for any... Uh, hopefully... No, that's not the right one. That one. Hopefully don't need to care about it anytime soon. If I do, then we've got real problems that I haven't made enough chrome. But I'm pretty sure that's not what's happened. I'm pretty sure I got enough chrome. But even saying that does scare me. Like, what if I have not got enough chrome? But I do, so don't be scared. I'm better than that. He says he's not really believing that. Okay, so that should get most of my heavy water ready. Looks like things are going a little bit more actively. Great. That's good. We are creating heavy water. Awesome. Something, something glorious purpose. Praise the Omnisire. Let's go with two memes today, you know? Praise the Omnisire, glorious purpose. 
Okay. So now we need. Now I could do these with. Oh, Kiwi Hawk. No, don't. No, Kiwi Hawk. You better be joking. I will. I will turn this. Uh, I will turn this around right now. Okay, tell me about Platinum. I don't want to know, but tell me about Platinum. No, no, I, I didn't want to know. I was right. I should have just kept quiet. Should have kept quiet. Could have never known. Alright, so. Uh, Steam will not worry about this. The Steam only is useful for this part, and it's sort of an excess product. Meanwhile, water can come into the system in another way. So I don't... Those steam engines are just getting rid of the steam in a actually beneficial way, which is pretty rare. <laughs> I don't know if that was me saying I'll turn this playthrough around right now. Um, because if so, that's pretty funny. Funny reaction. Uh, no, I mean, let's be honest. Kiwi Hawk has me exact. Oh, you rat. Uh, Kiwi Hawk has me right where he wants me. I don't know if he actually wants me that way, but it's like, if he adds more stuff that just makes me cry, I, I'll just take it. And I'm like, yes, sir, may I have another? It's almost an, uh, a masochistic thing now. Uh, but yeah. I really want to make a Blood Belt mod at some point, but I don't know coding. Because someone made Blood Belt ages ago, and it looks like it's depreciated quite some time ago. And I'm like, I want to do that. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know why. I'm like, I want to make a mod. Like, my coding skills are atrocious. I wouldn't say non-existent. I can do a Hello World program. Uh, but that's about it. I am not a coder. Um... I mean, if you couldn't tell by my elegant structures of building things, I do not code. Um, and I would like to. I've bought books on it and then never followed through with them. But I, I do not code. One day, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I have a lot of friends who do code and it makes me kind of jealous. Like, I wish I could. Like, I was thinking of something today, and I was like, oh, man, if I could code this, that'd be great. But then I was like, yeah, but then I'd, then I'd have to code something. I don't know. I'd want to do that. I mean, I do not work in a coding profession, so it'd be weird to start coding stuff. Um... Also, no one would appreciate the code that I make as well, so that's that as well. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a weird thing here. We're going to do this as an overflow valve. I think this might actually counteract itself. But right now, things are just not being made. Alright, so I've noticed actually a lot of people play... Factorio are also coders, or at least people who watch this stream are coders. Uh, so, I mean, I think it tells you a lot about the Factorio C Block community that people are like, yeah, just gotta. Just gotta hurt myself more, I guess, is what they're saying. That's how I'm reading it. Probably need to get pumps that actually work uh, with conditionals, but it's fine for now. Uh, okay, so looks like the spider bot is mostly going to be safe to just do his thing now. Uh, I tried to do coding once. Like, I, I went to university and my intention was to learn code and do all that sort of thing. I mean, yeah, people will be like, you don't need to go to university to learn coding. I'm like, yeah, but... And there's no actual follow-up to that. I just say, yeah, but... And then I just sort of look at them awkwardly and go, please go home. Please go away. I'm scared now. Uh, but... Yeah. And I just never got into it. Like, I just... 
it was weird being with a lot of uh, classmates who were just like so into coding and data structures and I'm just like I, I, I don't know what you're saying like I was in the same lecture you were in and I read the same books you are reading but I don't understand a single word you're saying and then they would just get more excited and excitedly explain more about the code and I'd be like oh I ex understand less now and I would just then I just went to like some sort of I don't want to say depression but it was something like that it wasn't a good place anyway end of the day not a coder that's what I'm saying all right so that's gonna do that uh look the Spider-Tron has let me down I'm sorry he was doing his best but his best turns out was not good enough because he still hasn't even done the thing I asked him to do so let's just do it myself because if you want something done right you got to do it yourself that's what I've always thought it's not always thought but it does appear to be correct in this situation like it's trying I respect that it is attempting to do it but it's also failing I do not have enough sand for this you know it did some so I guess you know, good job, guys. That's how I feel sometimes at work. I'm just like, you know what? You did your best. I appreciate that. But I did kind of expect and hope for a bit more. Not what I'd say, obviously. That's a, that's a dick move to save someone. But it is also how I felt. <laughs> you did your best, but you failed. And it's just like, yeah, don't ever say that. Someone, like, don't actually be a dick to people. They are doing their best. I wouldn't do that to someone, though. I'm mostly a nice person. I think everyone thinks they're mostly a nice person, so maybe that's not me saying anything. After what I just said, I mean, if someone said, actually, no, I think Steve's an asshole. I mean, yeah, actually, probably. Can't really dispute that now with what I just said. this channel I hope my co-workers never watch it uh anyway <laughs> I just remember some of my co-workers do know my name in my username that's fun anyway I I'm joking I don't think anyone uh, let's stop second guessing myself I'm just gonna scare me myself all right so let's just make this I think the Spider-Tron should be able to do some of this. If I find him. There he is. If he has any... Yeah, there he goes. Uh, I don't really need those rubber ports anymore. That was my uh, previous plan. Try and make things faster. It wasn't really a good plan and we're not going to do it again. Okay, but the Robotron will... The Robotron? My, my boy will get some stuff done there. We probably need to go find some more sand. We... Need to do a few things. I think we're going to need to actually build a lot of spiders. I think that's where we're going to come down to it as. And rather than running around, we'll just start building with spiders. I don't know if I want to do that. It doesn't sound fun. I mean, I guess if I'm just copying and pasting uh, previous productions, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we should be making... If you water, let's just double check that. It is sort of going up. But not really. Oh yeah, it is happening.
It is making stuff. It's just slow. I mean, that's why I'm doing this now. Uh, the good news is, though, once you've got heavy water, like, it's only 190 for 10 fuel cells. Oh, yeah. What you got for me? Your ratios may trigger more than one. Oh, what do you mean? The fact I don't care about ratios may, like, upset people? Or may upset more than one, uh, engineer. I mean, I could see both. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's where I say, hey, look, guys, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a coder. I don't care about ratios. And they're like, you didn't need to tell us you're not an engineer. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that's fair. I, I respect that. And a lot of people, I assume, would be the same. Like, I again, I think there's a different sort of person that plays C block than plays just the regular Factorio. Maybe. Maybe that, I mean, it's a thing you could do. I don't know if it's the right thing or the wrong. I don't think it's a wrong thing to do, but it is a thing you could do. And I think if you're used to like really, uh, really getting everything together, I think doing it the way I do it would probably still hurt. I don't think you'd ever be fully comfortable with it. And that's fine, like, everyone's got their own way of building stuff. Uh, I play a lot of card games, and people like to, you know, theory craft decks and, you know, slowly build everything and build most maximum efficiency. I just slap something together and then just, if I'm feeling like I want it to be good, I have a spreadsheet near me, and every time I play or lose a game, I'm like, eh, that's where it went wrong, or that's where it went right. And eventually I get something that gets into Platinum. People are like, oh, Platinum, that's not very high. I get into Challenger rank every time. Wow, that guy's a douche in my head. Um, but that's not what I play for, you know? Um, it was always a joke with my friends that when I built a deck, I just collected a bunch of cards together and just folded a day. Um, and maybe that was true, especially with things like uh, Netrunner, which is, if you didn't know it, the best card game that ever existed. Um, if you didn't know it, now you do. Um, but... <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, I, I don't think there is a wrong way to play Factorio, as long as you're having a good time. Um, I, I'm okay, there is wrong ways to play Factorio, but... You've really got to work for it. Uh, the time that I was trying to do Blood Belt without any circuitry, and the rule was everything must go on the belt, uh, and I was allowed to hand build anything, that may have been the wrong way to play Factorio. Uh, I never got beyond green circuits in that, so that tells you how badly that went. Which is why I want to play Blood Belt with actually the mod and having a blood belt that's somewhat workable. Yeah, one fusion generator is not enough for this bad boy. He does his best, but one fusion generator just does not cut it. Maybe if I take away some of these. 750 megawatts. Maybe, we'll see. The point that we really need to do right now is just we need more resources and this will uh, get us a lot of resources fairly quickly. Yeah, so this is going to be a lot of resources. It's going to be a lot of building. Uh, we're going to need way more electrolyzers than we currently have. Actually, no we don't. This guy has them. Your electrolyzers, buddy. your electrolyzers? I just want your electrolyzers. Shh, shh. It's okay, just let it happen. Wow, you know what? I said that and then I felt real bad. So, uh, I'm sorry for everyone who just heard that. I don't feel comfortable with what I just said. Anyway. 
and if I remember right, this is going to absolutely kill my batteries because I've done this before. So we, this is going to double the amount of electrolytes we have over here, which we're probably going to need more sulfur as well. Um, yeah, I know, I know. No path, no path, no path. What I might do actually is... Have the train go somewhere else, just to keep dealing with these uh, these nasty boys. I just realised I also gave up on my railroad just then, didn't I? <laughs> That's not going to work very well. So much building to be done. I think this is why I built those robo ports. Make them do the powering of everything. We didn't erase those again. Makes sense. Ah, yeah, so much to build. That's all right. I believe this extra electrolyzer plant, and when I get the filtration going, that should be going for a little while. It won't be a permanent fix, obviously, uh, because there is a lot to do. But, okay. Look, guys, just grab your stuff, please. Just be powered up. Go build. Drain my batteries, good sirs. Can I build from inside the Robotron? <laughs> I can! Did you wonder what that ticking sound was? That was the sound of thoughts. What if? What if I did this? Uh, so we're going to, we're going to try something stupid for a moment here. And if we put this in here, that generates M50, that's a little bit light. That's all right. And we put some more batteries in there. Do I have dedicated sulfur production? I do in a few places. Uh, I've got a couple of gaseous puffers. Okay, so if I... Okay. Uh, I think we are now in operation never get out of the Robotron. I know this is what uh, people were saying at the start, but I just realized this is fun. Oh, science happened. Um, you know what? I don't. Uh, do we continue with the legit, the sciencey thing? Well, not sciencey things. The efficiency modules, or do we start Robotron science? I think we do start Spidertron science because I've just realized how fun Spidertrons are. They are kind of bulky, but Because now I get an extra set of inventory as well. And with this, I can... I was going to put more RoboPorts in, but I realized that might be a bad idea. can do that. Probably need another fusion power generator if I'm going to do that, though. I don't need to power my legs anymore, so that's cool. Yes, I shall grow fat and lazy in this spider. Now I've got to do is make the uh, spider... What is it? Oh, how do you do this? Go like... How do you do this? Uh, 
Uh, how do you do dubstep? Not dubstep. There he goes. <laughs> Spin those tracks, boy. <laughs> okay. That helps no one. Okay, so the spider has power, and I also have power. Spider's power is fine. The spider, what speed does the spider move at? How do I find that? I don't know. This is fun. Uh, we might actually need to expand the sulfur production, so let's go down there and check that out. The only problem was with the spider, we can't put in, get in trains anymore. But there is problems. How do we get... Okay, how do we get better fusion reactors? Because I think that's... Right, we just discussed that. We need speed modules. Okay. We are getting closer to the time where we've got to do those speed modules. That's probably the thing we do after we get... Uh, our science is back online. Not sciences, but once we boost everything again. Okay, so can we build... We dropped our parts. Oh no, they're here. They're still here. Great. Can we build like this again? Except like... Down here. Uh, we are out of pipes, is what you'd say if you didn't have a supply of pipes. Hidden, hidden pipes. Uh, but the problem is, while we do have pipes, we do have a lack of other things. Okay, so... Yeah, we got pipes, but we just... Okay, so the problem is, we don't... Can't ride trains anymore. That's alright. But what we can do, when we get around to it, is just build a bigger Spider-Tron. So what does this guy need? Like, all that stuff is doable. Build a big Spider-Tron, fill it with exoskeletons, run faster than the goddamn wind. Look at him go. How cute. Uh, so, I'm going to change what he's actually requesting. Because what he is requesting is actually not helpful, I don't think. Do you need more electrolyzers? Well, actually, no. You know what? We, we do want stuff from them, because we want them to have some electrolyzers. We want them to have, like, a hundred of them. So, I mean, I've just basically got a whole other inventory space. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I, I can put whatever I want in it, can't I? This guy's the gosh darn limits. Uh, what else do I need? Filters. Oh, you know what? You know what you'd be great to have in you? Like, just electrodes. Can we put, like, 6,000 electrodes in you and, like... Do we have filter frames? We do. Ceramic filter frames? Like, just the same number, just, like, 6,000. I don't think we can actually even have that many uh, filter frames. We've got 810. That's not nearly enough. That's okay. Off it goes. If I get a remote, I guess I can start just remoting it while I'm sitting in it. So I can remote somewhere and just lean back, have a sip of water, and consider how awesome life is. I mean, this is squeeze through times two, isn't it? Because look at him squeezing through whatever the hell he wants. He doesn't give a shit. He's a cool robot. And who doesn't love cool robots? I love cool robots. I can have an army of cool robots. Okay, can Spider-Trons be programmed to follow each other? Uh, I don't know enough about Spider-Trons on that one, so... Asking, genuinely asking 
question. Because if they can, then that might be an interesting idea. Uh, and that needs to go like that. Okay, so I don't even need to get out of this thing to... Oh, do I not have any of these? I, did I throw them all away by mistake? I must have. Crap. They can be programmed to follow each other. Okay, okay. A plan is beginning. Which is to have an army of Spider-Trons all following each other. All filled with stuff. All of them having the robo-ports required to build the infinity just be clear when I say build the infinity it's the infinity isn't a thing it's just I got excited while I was talking <laughs> okay we must build the infinity <laughs> all right okay No, we can just copy and paste that. The infinity just sounds like some hokey Doctor Who thing. I will construct the infinity. And you cannot stop me, Doctor. And if like, you don't understand, the infinity will kill us all. He's like, I do not care. Or I am already dead. For reasons. They'd be like, dang. That, that's pretty much every Doctor Who episode. I love Doctor Who, but that is pretty much every Doctor Who episode that's ever existed. <laughs> I say I love what Doctor Who, I have not watched Doctor Who in years at this point. But, you know, I did like it when I last watched it. And maybe that's what matters. I'm going to say that's all that matters and just call it a day on that. Alright, so... Got some more catalysts. We really got to get these catalysts in because if we don't, they'll jam up the whole works. We need the advanced chemical plants. I thought we had some of those. We did, but I think we got rid of them all. Um, Gassy's puffers are still going alright. I don't expect that to ever really change. Yeah, so it's just going to build one for now. But look, it speeds up the hydrogen sulfide gas, which speeds up my sulfur production, so maybe that's what we needed right then. Spidertron is at 14%. How is my rocket going? Real quick. It is at 91%. Yeah, we'll get another rocket today. We've got 20 minutes. We can do it. There you go, buddy. Don't be frightened. Okay, lots of building required though, as always. Uh, and we'll just grab some of those electrolyzers because, hey, they're there. That's what we actually put them there for. And when we need them, we can just grab them. I think that's what we do. We have this thing take the buildings that we don't often need, but when we want them, they'll just be there. And meanwhile, we just carry, like, because how often do we need ore processors? Not often. But every now and then we just go, ah, oh, man, I really wish I had an ore processor right now. So that's what I think we do. But we're not going to get this finished today, of course. Oh. Got some angry worms, apparently. They will be dealt with in the manner fitting of their kind. Which I tell you, the way of fitting of their kind is not kind. It is not kind, it is not polite, but it is correct. 
And with that, I am no longer benevolent. I have had an alignment shift. I am now awful evil, I'd like to say. That is never my alignment in D&D. <laughs> I just never play an evil character. I'm the sort of person that just plays a bard. No, I, I play Wild Mage Sorcerer whenever I get the chance. Because this is the best class. Because it's random. And that's just fun. I love randomness. I love randomness to the point that it's like, just stop loving randomness. Just stop. And I'm like, but randomness is fun. Alright. Uh, that train can probably move a little bit further. Just to really deal with some more of those worms. Although for the first time in quite a while, I'm not actually playing a sorcerer, I'm playing a warlock, and that's pretty fun actually too. Oh... Okay, that, that, things are coming along. This will be a lot more... This is going to be a lot more slag slurry, and I'm going to have to do some weird filtering stuff for it to work, but that's okay. Uh, science, while I'm thinking about it, because I'm just watching the Spidertron slowly tick down. Uh, the problem is yellow. And I believe yellow is a problem for the reason of... Zolder. I mean, that's what I found before. Yellow is a problem because of blue, I assume, and blue is a problem because... Older? Uh, yeah, we, we don't have enough solder being made because we just don't have enough resources being made right now. That will change very soon, of course. But not until we get this uh, all done. So it's going to be this, then filtrations, then... Well, after filtrations, we're actually done. So I guess that's... Oh... Oh damn, they're actually blowing up my stuff. Rude. And we're actually out of cannons. Uh, okay. We need to get more cannon shells, clearly. And it doesn't want to because it's stuck. Okay. We're well, gonna take this train manually. I really hope we don't have actually a lack of cannon shells. Oh! Oops. 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 Uh, okay, I need you to... Buddy, buddy, I need you to not be there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop saying oops. Oh, jeez, seriously, that wasn't, wasn't entirely my fault. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, so, uh, we've been to train. We've been to trains. Oops. That's alright. Oh, uh, thank you for that, Kiwi Hawk. That was, that was perfect. Okay. So, I think logistics requests, we're going to want 300 of those for future. I know, I know, inventory's full, inventory's full, I get it. Look, if you're not running into a train, what are you doing? It's fine if you run to a train while you're in a train, though. That's the logic I'm going to take today. 
So why is this going so slowly? Well, the real problem is black circuits, huh? You may not get a train done today then. But I want one. I promised everyone a, a, a rocket. I got 10 minutes. Let's build down here, guys, where the worms aren't. See, if I put more of these backpacks on... Oh, I am so gonna need more, uh... Yeah, my battery's just drained. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, well, it looks like we can build a little bit more. Um, how are we doing with that? Yeah, we did need a, a battery, so... Yeah, things are running out of uh, electricity. Putting that new thing in really hurt us. Don't need that. Yeah, okay, so once we get the resources in, I think we do need to start making the advanced modules. Which means we start needing to figure out how to get biters done. That's gonna be new experience for me. I wonder how many uh, blue modules it would take to actually build the rocket today. More than I think I'm willing to spend. Because it's got 9% left, 9% would require like 90 black chips, 90 black chips would require 90 times 3, yeah that's doable, no we can launch a rocket today. We can find like a couple of hundred blue chips. We've done it before, we'll do it again. He's gonna go down there. I I really need this to be faster though. We'll get it faster though, don't you worry. So what we need to find is just like a few blue chips. Like a couple of hundred will do it. And we'll make sure all the black chips go straight to the rocket. But I think a second rocket, I think we've all deserved a second rocket today. We've all worked very hard. Oh man, I love the spider tron how it just sort of goes, I don't want to go across the water. I don't want to do it. I don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm usually a little bit afraid of spiders. I. That's not true. Real spiders I'm afraid of. This one is adorable. Just look at him. How can you be scared of this? You can't. It's adorable. I'm going for paper. Paper's fine. Uh, we probably have a satellite ready to go. I hope so. We do. Good. Okay, so... Like modules usually have a way of going up there. We're going to just turn that off for the moment. Let's remember to turn that on again later. <laughs> Let's go find some blue modules. Or blue chips, rather. I think I know where we'll be able to find some. That was when I was starting to build more transistors and I never got around to finishing that. That's pretty funny. I completely forgot that I did that. Uh, yeah, that's going to be quite a few more blue chips. I promised everyone a rocket launch and by gosh I'm going to get you a rocket launch. I was going to say come hell or high water but if hell comes for it I mean she's not getting a rocket launch today I'm sorry. 
But I'm gonna try. I don't know why I got out of my Robotron. My Robotron's faster than I am. It's going to take a little bit of practice to get used to this idea. So we're 94%. We're adding a lot more black chips. We've got five robot uh, control modules going at once. Yeah, we'll get we'll get your rocket launched today. Don't you worry. Not like five minutes, but that's fine. We can get a rocket done in five minutes if we steal stuff. It hasn't even been used. Look. What is it actually for? <laughs> oh, pink science. Why is pink science not happening? Cobalt. Oh, we probably need to worry about that later. Another day, perhaps. Okay, well, they're all working now. We're at 96%. It turns out when you really start putting blue modules, uh, black modules in, they start building stuff, huh? Upgrading these to higher factory levels is probably not a bad idea just to uh, really maximize my uh, productivity modules. We could also expand them and put a sp uh, speed modules in there just to make it faster on the side. They're all going. They're mostly all going. I mean, these ones are making what? Like an extra 16% of black chips? So that's good. For every what? Five black chips, six black chips, I make one extra. So yeah, that, that's decent. And then here, of every 10, I build one extra. Uh, we're at 98%. So what we need, 12 more of these. We've got two minutes. This is a new sort of speed run. It is a speed run within a regular run. It's not really a thing, but you know what? I'll count it. Basis of, all, basis of I'm in charge, I get to make the rules. Okay. It's gonna be close though. No, it won't be. We've got a minute 30 seconds. We need eight more. Yeah, we get this done easily. This is just for fun. This is actually a waste of time, honestly, but... I'm not going to say I'm going to launch a rocket every episode, or every two-hour block. And maybe every two two-hour blocks for now. That much I can... Oh, can I promise that? I don't know. All right, and that is the last bit of rocket done. It's all about hugging that rocket. Oh wow, it does not like you being there, huh? That's cool, I didn't know that. It actually has a little bit of... It does not want you on top of the rocket when it launches. Anyway, let's launch another rocket. Second rocket. I'm gonna try and race it until it despawns. 
No, it's faster than I am. All right, that is the second rocket done. So thank you everyone for watching today. If you are new here and you're not following, please give a follow. I'd appreciate it. Uh, that way you can make sure that you don't miss more Factorio. You don't have to be here for everyone, of course, but just when you come around, I always appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today, you can follow me on youtube.com slash That is where I post these videos. I am quite far behind, but hey, look, you get to see how the old factory is built, and that's fun too. Um, what else do I have? I am currently working on a Discord channel. I uh, don't know when that's going to actually be ready, but working on it. Not because it's hard, but because I'm lazy. Uh, and finally, if you would like to subscribe to me on Discord, that's right, subscribe to me on Twitch, that's where I am now, uh, you can do so. I would appreciate it, but certainly don't feel like you have any need to. Uh, it just helps me run the channel a little bit better. Uh, and also, I have cute little cat icons, which are super adorable, which you can view down below. Speaking of down below, you can also see the next time I will be streaming. Uh, my Dark Souls stream has been a little sporadic, unfortunately, of late, uh, but Factorio is pretty much always running, uh, except for when there is family stuff going on, which is why I wasn't running on Monday or Tuesday, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, beyond that, we are done. That is, that is the stream today. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and I hope to catch you again next time. Take care, everyone.